There are five reasons you should be leveraging technology as a real estate agent. Hi, I'm Eric Lowry with the Lowry team at eXp Realty. The real estate business is tough all of the time. And 2023 for sure is going to be a challenging year requiring more effort and more work and all kinds of new ideas and concepts. So today I want to talk about the five reasons you definitely should be leveraging technology in your real estate business. The first reason to expand your reach. I think this is probably maybe the biggest reason of the five. So you can expand your reach and your marketing efforts, getting in front of more people, delivering your message about why you should be the choice for them to work with as a real estate agent, whether on the buy side or sell side, investing, whatever it might be. Um, getting in front of more people, delivering that message is super critical, more so now than ever. And so you can use technology in a variety of ways to make sure you are getting in front of more people. Number two reason, um, to make your marketing spend more efficient. So back when I started in real estate, there weren't a lot of ways to really measure was your marketing working other than just you threw a bunch of stuff out there and hope some of it came back. But today through technology, you can really measure email open rates, email click-through rates, uh, click-throughs on Facebook ads, uh, all kinds of things like that where technology can really help you pare down and understand, are you getting a good return on your marketing spend? The only way really to keep track of it though, if you're doing any level of marketing at all, is to make sure you're using technology to do so. It's kind of too complicated and uh, too much there to measure to do just on a spreadsheet. You need some technology to be able to manage that. But absolutely, making your marketing spend more efficient is critical so that you're spending more money on the things that work and less on the things that don't. Number three, your technology should make you way more organized and efficient. And when I think of this, I think of your CRM. And now, you know, there's a lot of talk about what's a best CRM. And actually on a webinar last week, somebody asked me that question, what's the best CRM to use? And there's an age old answer people give you in Facebook groups if you're in them at all or whatever. They'll say, oh, it's the one you use. Certainly that's true. But uh, what's the best CRM really depends on the level of your business. If you're just starting out, any good, solid, basic CRM is going to be fine for you right now. You don't need some high-end technical CRM with built-in automations and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. If you're just getting started with building your database, with getting your sphere of influence and a couple past clients you have in there or whatever, and that type of thing, if you're starting to do some more marketing that's generating more leads, you're going to need a little bit more elaborate CRM. And finally, as you grow into a bigger database, more leads, more, more different um, sources of business and all that sort of thing, you're going to need a more elaborate one. But frankly, in the beginning, or if you're just in the beginnings of growth stage even, um, a pretty solid but, but just foundational CRM is going to work fine for you. But that CRM to make you more efficient needs to make sure that you can set tasks for leads to be followed up on properly, that it's tied to your calendar. So when you set an appointment, it already embeds it on your calendar. You don't have to do all these multiple clicks and going to these multiple places to record things and doing this and that. You need efficiency from technology and your CRM is the single biggest way to get that. Number four is to set yourself apart in our industry. You really need to make sure that you're using technology and actually even incorporating some of it into your marketing so that people see your technology forward, that you're using cutting edge technology. Um, you know, it's at this point, I kind of consider it table stakes that we do electronic signatures and electronic forms and that kind of thing. But certainly for the consumer standpoint, they expect you to have that type of technology. Plus, they need more than that, really. They want to see things like online resources, um, you know, utility connection tools that allow them to make that type of thing easier. There's all kinds of ways that you can set yourself apart with technology. But the first step is, deciding that you're going to do it. If you're an agent that still kind of wants to do things the old way, whew, don't do that. Um, those folks that are stuck with 
doing things the old way, because the old way is the way we've always done it, are going to struggle moving forward in this industry that's rapidly evolving with technology. Uh, number five, the number five reason you should be using technology in your business is to make more money. Frankly, isn't that why we do this? Yes, we get in it to help people. For sure we do. That's the way to make more money is to help more people. There's no way around that. And yet we get into this business largely to earn a living, to support our families, to provide for our families, to give our families and friends and whatever it might be, charities, things that we couldn't give them otherwise. We're here to make money. And so we need to make sure we're using technology to reach more people, to close more deals faster. The faster you're and more efficiently you're able to close more deals, the more deals you can close, the more clients you can work with. So um, technology is critical in our business. It has been for a while. 2023 is going to be a year where it becomes even more and more important to our real estate businesses. If I can help you in any way with how to use technology to grow your business better, please reach out to me. I'm happy to chat about it. We run a very technology forward business and I'm, I'm more than happy to share what we found that what works and some things, frankly, that don't. Um, so feel free to click the link below. There's a book, a link there where it says book a strategy call with me. Um, it'll take you right to my calendar where you can schedule a time for us to talk. No obligation. Um, let's just check, chat about how we can help you take your business to the next level. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.